good evening. And well, it's evening now, but when you're watching this, it might not be. Uh, my name is the Reverend Claire Morgan. I'm the chaplain at St. Jude's Anglican Care Home and the community director of Hineni House, an intentional community uh, affiliated with St. Margaret's Cedar Cottage in East Vancouver in the province uh, currently known as British Columbia. Um, I am making this video so that uh, my friends on uh, the second floor, the special care unit of St. Jude's, can enjoy the same service that I will be doing in person tomorrow on the main floor. Uh, we're trying to minimize uh, crossing back and forth between the main floor and the second floor during this time of COVID. Um, so this is the easiest way that our friends uh, on the second floor can join us since I cannot stream live to YouTube, unfortunately. But I can record a video that they can watch on their lovely smart TV. Um, I sort of cobbled together this service. Uh, it's um, a little bit shorter than uh, many of uh, Christmas Eve services would be. There's there's a little bit of Advent in it just because, you know, we're, uh, we're almost at Christmas, uh, not quite there yet. Um, but there's some carols and some readings. There is uh, a poem and some prayers. And hopefully it will help you feel like you uh, are together with us at this time. So let's, let's begin, shall we, by taking a couple of deep breaths. There's so much stress in the world right now. There would be anyway in a time like this. And the pandemic has just made it a little bit more difficult to kind of feel like we're normal or feel like things are normal. So we'll just breathe for a minute and remember that no matter who we are or where we are on the journey of life, where we are on the journey of faith, we are welcomed and held in the arms of the beloved of God. Let's begin. I bring you good news of great joy, which will come to all the people. For to you is born this day a Savior, Christ the Lord. We'll begin with a carol. Our first carol will be the first Noel. Oh 
Our first reading is from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 9, beginning at the second verse. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken, as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onwards and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. Our second carol will be Hark the Herald Angels Sing. <laughs> The second reading is also from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 52, beginning at the seventh verse. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of the messenger who announces peace, who brings good news, who announces salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. Listen. Your sentinels lift up their voices. Together they sing for joy, for in plain sight they see the return of the Lord to Zion. Break forth together into singing, you ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm before the eyes of all the nations and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. 
Thanks be to God. Our third carol is O Come All Ye Faithful. <clears throat> Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy, for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
In Holy Week, I did a service very similar to this that I videotaped, and in response to the gospel, I read a poem. And uh, I thought that it would make sense uh, to do that again for this service at uh, the other end of the Christian year. This poem is by the former Archbishop of Canterbury, uh, Rowan Williams, the Reverend Dr. Rowan Williams. I read it every year uh, because it moves me so much. Um, so uh, hopefully it will do the same for you. It's called Advent Calendar. It's been set to music uh, by a couple of different composers, beautiful settings. But here is Advent Calendar. He will come like last leaf's fall. One night when the November wind has flayed the trees to the bone and earth wakes choking on the mold, the soft shrouds folding. He will come like frost. One morning when the shrinking earth opens on mist to find itself arrested in the net of alien, sword-set beauty. He will come like dark. One evening, when the bursting red December sun draws up the sheet and penny masks its eye to yield the star-snowed fields of sky. He will come, will come, will come like crying in the night, like blood, like breaking, as the earth writhes to toss him free. He will come like child. Amen. We'll take some time now to pray, pray for ourselves, pray for those for whom we have been asked to pray, pray for no one or for a uh, pray for people who have no one to pray for them. We will use uh, an Advent litany that draws words from the O Antiphons, a series of Advent prayers. Let us pray. In joyful expectation, let us pray to our Savior and Redeemer, saying, Lord Jesus, come soon. O oh, wisdom, from the mouth of the Most High, you reign over all things to the ends of the earth. Come and teach us how to live. Lord Jesus, come soon. O Lord and head of the house of Israel, you appeared to Moses in the fire of the burning bush, and you gave the law on Sinai. Come with outstretched arm and ransom us. Lord Jesus, come soon. O branch of Jesse, standing as a sign among the nations, all kings will keep silence before you, and all peoples will summon you to their aid. Come set us free, and delay no more. Lord Jesus, come soon. O key of David and scepter of the house of Israel, you open and none can shut. You shut and none can open. Come and free the captives from prison. Lord Jesus, come soon. O morning star, splendor of the light eternal and bright sun of righteousness, come and enlighten all who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death. Lord Jesus, Come soon. O 
O King of the nations, you alone can fulfill our desires. Cornerstone, you make opposing nations one. Come and save the creature you fashioned from clay. Lord Jesus, come soon. O Emmanuel, hope of the nations and our Savior, come and save us, Lord our God. Lord Jesus, come soon. I will read the Collect for Christmas Eve out of the Anglican Church of Canada's Book of Alternative Services. Let us pray. Eternal God, this holy night is radiant with the brilliance of your one true light. As we have known the revelation of that light on earth, bring us to see the splendor of your heavenly glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Savior taught us, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Be steadfast in faith, joyful in hope, and untiring in love all the days of your life. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. And our last carol will be Silent Night.
Amen and Alleluia. Merry Christmas to you, to all those you love, to all those who love you. May God smile and shine upon all that you are, because she does. I am blessed to have been with you, even if I can't see you. And uh, be kind, be calm, and be safe. It's always good advice. And hopefully we'll be able to see each other in person very soon. Take care and God bless.